They're two of the most famous and feared snake species in the world. Have you ever wondered who might win if these two beasts ever confronted one another? Well, the chance of them facing off in the wild is remote, since they're native to two different continents. But we can always speculate about what might happen should the two serpents clash. We'll lay out some attributes for both animals, and then we'll tell you which contender we favour between the black mamba and the rattlesnake. Who will win? Black Mamba versus Rattlesnake. Number 16. Rattling Facts Let's start off with an overview of rattlesnakes. There are more than 30 species currently recognised, and all of them are native to the Americas. To be more precise, these predators can be found all the way from Canada to Argentina. That means they've evolved to survive in a wide variety of habitats, although they tend to be strongly linked to desert regions. In North America, rattlesnakes are regarded as a major contributor to snake bite injuries. Did you know that rattlers are born with fully functioning fangs and venom? They're capable of killing prey at birth. Number 15. Their trademark feature. That, of course, would have to be the rattling noise for which the snakes are named. That noise is generated by hollow segments of keratin located on the tip of the tail. The sound is a warning for aggressors or passers-by to back off, and is formally referred to as tail vibration. How loud would it rattle if a black mamba was slithering its way? Number 14. Pit Vipers all rattlesnakes are identified as pit vipers. They have facial pits that serve to detect the thermal radiation signature of their prey. In other words, they can single out any warm-blooded victim that wanders into their habitat. That wouldn't work against other snakes, of course, but rattlesnakes do have an exceptionally keen sense of smell, which can help them keep track of their victims. Number 13. Rattler Representative With more than 30 species of these snakes, we have to choose one to be our contender. We found that the deadliest species regarding venom is the Mojave rattlesnake, but compared to the black mamba, it's relatively small regarding length and mass. So we're going with the eastern diamondback, which is regarded as the largest rattlesnake species and one of the world's heaviest known venomous snakes. In North America, they rank as both the longest and heaviest serpents. Would you have chosen a different species? Number 12. Eastern Diamondback This reptile slithers around the southeastern US and can be found from North Carolina through to Louisiana. The largest recorded specimen measured nearly 8 feet long or 2.4 meters and weighed 34 pounds or 15 and a half kilos. They're named for the black diamond-shaped pattern covering their skin, which can range in color from brown to olive. Although rattlers aren't known to be arboreal, this species has been observed in trees searching for prey. And they're also known as excellent swimmers. When threatened, eastern diamondbacks will stand their ground and make repeated strikes at more than one third of their body length. At an average length of 6 feet 183 centimetres, the rattler could strike from a distance exceeding 2 feet or 61 centimetres. Number 11. Venom We mentioned earlier that the Mojave rattlesnake has one of the most toxic venoms of any snake in the world. The eastern diamondback's toxin does not rank so high, but it is known to cause severe pain to humans. These large and powerful snakes have fangs that measure over 1 inch long or 25 millimetres. Proportionate to their length, those choppers are the longest of any rattlesnake species, and the animals can deliver large quantities of venom, with average yields of 450 milligrams. A lethal dose for humans is estimated at 150 milligrams. While their venom isn't as potent as the black mumbas, it might be strong enough to slow down its opponent. Along with that, the eastern diamondback's positive attributes include size, strength, and a willingness to stand its ground if attacked. Now let's have a look at their opponent. Number 10. Black Mamba There are four species of mambas, all of them are native to various regions of sub-Saharan Africa. Related to cobras, all of them are feared throughout their range, but it's the black mamba that has the most fearsome reputation. 
did you know that this animal is the second largest species of venomous snake with an average length of 10 feet or 3 meters? Species measuring nearly 15 feet long or 4.5 meters have also been reported. When it comes to venomous snakes, only the king cobra grows larger, but its very slender build means a lighter body mass of around 3.5 pounds or 1.5 kilograms. There is a similarity between the black mamba and the rattlesnakes when it comes to their lethality when they're young. Like their opponent, the juvenile mamba can be as deadly as an adult. Number 9. In the trees or on the ground Three species of mambas are known to be arboreal and live in the trees. Black mambas can also display an arboreal nature, but primarily live on land. They're recognised as one of the world's fastest moving terrestrial snakes, reaching speeds of nearly 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometres per hour over short distances. That means they can overtake much of their prey like birds and smaller mammals should they try to escape. Black mambas have a preference for warm-blooded prey that it hunts from a permanent lair, but it's also known for consuming its fellow reptiles on occasion. Number 8. Black Mamba Behaviour When human beings come within 130 feet or 40 metres of black mambas in the wild, the snakes will become skittish and unpredictable. We found that although the snakes are quick and agile, they will often flee at the sight of a perceived threat and escape into a hole or bush. Other sources claim they can become extremely aggressive if cornered, and any sudden movement can provoke it into launching a series of quick strikes. They can engage in some additional threat displays, which we'll tell you about in the next section. Number 7. Threat Displays Of the four mamba species, three of them have skin that is coloured various shades of green. The black mamba's skin colour only ranges from grey to dark brown, but its name is a reference to its mouth, which opens wide to display an inky black interior. You might not see their fixed fangs though. While they can measure up to 6.5mm inches long, they're located in the back of the mamba's mouth. It will also hiss and spread its narrow neck flap to discourage aggressors. When it's time to attack, these snakes can do so from a considerable range, projecting themselves as much as 40% of their body length. That's something they have in common with their opponent. And these mambas can rapidly inflict several deadly bites within a short amount of time. Number 6. Striking Points when the black mamba bites, it always does so at full envenomation. That means each bite will deliver venom, and a lot of it. Wildlife biologists say that the chance of a dry bite without venom occurring is nearly non-existent with these animals. That's bad news for the victim. Its venom contains neurotoxic properties which can produce symptoms that include respiratory paralysis and can bring down a human within 45 minutes of receiving a bite. Without antivenom and appropriate medical attention, victims can die within 15 hours. It's said that two drops of the black mamba's venom are enough to kill a human. Number 5. Wrapping up. So those are our two reptilian contenders for the title. As such, let's take a look at some of their strong points and weak points, starting with the Eastern Diamondback. Number 4. Eastern Diamondback. Odds 4. This snake is known for its power and aggression, and is capable of mounting a vigorous defence if they're threatened. Drop for drop, its venom is considered to be the most toxic of any species found in the US. Overall, most sources rank it outside the top 20 regarding its lethal dose, or LD50 ranking. That refers to the amount of toxin needed to kill 50% of a test group, which are typically lab mice or rats. How its venom might affect a black mamba is an X factor, but it could be strong enough to at least slow it down. Odds against it gives up some size to the black mamba regarding length, and it's unlikely to be fast or to make as many quick strikes. The mamba's venom might be toxic enough to incapacitate the eastern diamondback. Number 3. Black Mamba. Odds 4. Greater length, greater speed and ability, along with the fact that the creature carries some of the most toxic venom of any snake on Earth. Regarding its LD50 ranking, it often ranks within the top five of such lists. If cornered, it will mount a vigorous defense of rapid strikes. Odds against. While it does have great speed, the Black Mamba will often use it to escape confrontation. Fighting is only an option if it's cornered and can't get away. 
the slender mamba weighs only three and a half pounds on average and probably doesn't possess the raw power of the heavier eastern diamondback. Number two, so there you have it, the Eastern Diamondback versus the Black Mamba. Make your choice and let's proceed to the final segment. Number one, and the winner is... With its legendary lethality, it might seem like the Black Mamba possesses enough advantages to vanquish its opponent. But we feel that the size and strength belong to the Eastern Diamondback. So we're calling the upset. We like how the Rattler matches up against the Mamba regarding defensive strategies. While both species can lunge and strike from impressive distances, the Diamondback does so with more bulk and weight. And while both snakes are known to avoid confrontation, most sources note that the Mamba's first instinct is to slither away. And that seems more likely to happen when faced with a larger opponent like the Diamondback. Anyway, that's our pick. Be sure to tell us your choice in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next episode on Epic Wildlife.